July 28, 1973. This is John R. We're down south in Dixie. WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee, saying that for the last time. That's the way a legend hung up his rock and radio shoes. John R., John Richburg said goodbye and reflected upon his early recollections of his involvement with show business and radio. That goes back to the middle 30s in New York City. I uh, got up there when I was just a wee lad, about 17, 18. I had uh, a burning desire to trod the boards, legitimate theater. That was my, that was the, the main drive at that time. That was my reason for going to New York, as a matter of fact. But like so many others, those ambitions and desires fell by the wayside because <laughs> competition was pretty, uh, pretty keen, even at that time. And I'm talking about 1936, 37. I did secure one small part in a Brock Pemberton play. We opened in New Haven, I'll never forget this, one night, raining like uh, hammers of you-know-what. And we closed in New Haven that same night. I mean, <laughs> never did get to Broadway with it. Well, that was, my, that was the end of that. Then I began the rounds at the advertising agencies, blanket sample and Hummer, to mention uh, well, one of the more prolific at that time. They were turning out a great, great number of the soap operas, Our Gal Sunday and many, many others. I happened to get lucky and I worked in many of those things. Did that for about a uh, year and a half, I guess. It got pretty rough to make a living at that time. And so I got out of it. This was about 1938, I guess, 39 lose track of time, but uh, I got out of it and went into automobile finance, repossessing cars, that sort of thing. I did that until 1941. I went down to Charleston, spent a vacation, and uh, auditioned just as a lark, more or less, for WTMA, the news and courier station. Went back home. Two weeks later, they sent me a telegram, come to work. So I quit my automobile repossessing job <laughs> and rushed on to uh, Charleston. Went to work at WTMA. Worked there for a year and came to WLAC in 1942. Hey, John R., what you gonna do? Come on, John R., man, and play with the rhythm blues. All right, there, my friend, I got to do it. John R., way down south here in Dixie, laying down some of that crazy sound. And you know something? We're on the air for Hoyt Sullivan's famous hair and scalp conditioner, too, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But let's get that theme out, kick the show off, huh? I want to tell you right now, I want to talk to your head about the Hoyt Sullivan thing. You know, Hoyt Sullivan's famous hair and scalp conditioner. Look here, friend, don't expect nothing to grow hair but your scalp. Now, that's the only thing in the world going to grow hair for you on your head is your scalp. And you know you got to take good care of it. You got to keep it in good, healthy, hair-growing condition. That's where Hoyt Sullivan's famous hair and scalp conditioner comes in the door right there. Now, look here, friend. If you've got a scalp problem, dandruff, you know, that bad old itchy scalp hair combing out or falling out, you got to do something about it. Uh, you can't just let it stay there like that. Get some Hoyt Sullivan's, will you? On sale at all drug and cosmetic counters. Hoyt Sullivan's famous hair and scalp conditioner. If they don't have it in your hometown, if they're out of it or something, you know, you write to me, will you? Send $1 and your name and address. To me, John R., WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm going to see that you get a generous supply of Hoyt Sullivan's by mail, postpaid. How would you like to have fried chicken on your table just about any time you wanted it, huh? Well, now, look here, yeah, baby, you can. You can if you just listen to old John R. I got an offer for you that will put that fried chicken on your table in no time. The Reich Poultry Farms will send you 110 of the finest baby chicks you ever saw for the low, low price of just $2.95 plus 50 cents handling charge plus COD charge. Now, these are fine, big, husky, red top chicks. And the Reich Poultry Farm guarantees your baby chicks must be in good condition on arrival and for three months after you get them, or they will replace any of your baby chicks that fail to survive for half price. How about that? Ain't that a mess? Now, this low price of $2.95 per 110 baby chicks may be withdrawn at any time. Don't delay, friends. Get your order in the mail right now. All you have to do is write a postcard or a letter to Red Top. Red Top or John R. WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee. Remember now, they're only $2.95 per 110 baby chicks, plus 50 cents handling, plus COD. 
Because of this low price, the 110 chicks will be primarily cockerels. No sex of breed guaranteed. Send no money, just your name and address and zip code number to Red Top or to me, John R., WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee. Do it right now and think about that good eating you're going to have on your table when your baby chicks become frying size. Lip smacking good there, man. Graham, if you want to wreck it right to Ernie's, will you? The one and only Ernie's Wrecking Mart, Nashville, Tennessee. Man, they got them records galore at that store. Specialized in sending them out, too, by mail, COD, unconditionally guaranteed safe delivery. John Alpern, as I got the cut on out now, Horse Island coming in. I'll be back doing 20. Wait for me, will you? On record from WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee.